back to Frank Sinatra. <laughs> so I have. I'm supposed to find um, clues as to how to unseal her. Look how fast that is now. Um, so right now I'm supposed to find um, clues about the Triforce, and I think I think I know where to go. I'm just supposed to ask like the teacher and or mayor of the town. Good point. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just taking a wild guess. Uh, there's some other stuff that I think... I'm gonna go to one place first, I'm gonna go to that bird statue back there. I'm gonna see what happens. Gotcha, the Groose Key. <laughs> Is there some other? I thought there was some other... Like... Yep, there's a few. It's quite a chest. Oh my. There's quite a few chesticles. I can reach that with a hook shot. Yeah, I could never uh, figure out how to get to some of these areas, so I just like accepted the defeat. <laughs> now that I have the true master sword, I can. True master sword, sure. <laughs> 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 That's what you want to call it. I think I'm supposed to. Okay. Wait, jump. but there's a normal chest here. Right? It's unopened. <laughs> Wait, well, open it. That way you don't have to come back. No, oh, I can. Oh, that's what you yeah. meant. That's what you meant. I thought it was like a wooden chest. Okay, I see. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the trickster. Very large disappointment. No, there. it's fine. Big up, say, Spaghetti Rossetti. Damn, bro. Do you remember when you spent like two episodes and a half when you first got the glider just not using it. Oh, I was like 20, no, like 5 minutes of just... Ah, oh, damn it. It felt like two and a half episodes. <laughs> two and a half episodes. <laughs> Where I'm just seeing there like, please, make some progress. We've only started the game. Okay, so... And then I got the controller when we unlocked the bird and I was like, whoa, I'm losing control. <laughs> <laughs> and we literally made no progress for like 5 episodes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was so dumb. Oh my god, you get you have twelve hundred coins? Yeah, I'm gonna buy stuff from the old John Lennon himself. Sure, if you get the chance to use it. Where is he? Ah. Uh, Where'd he go? Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm just hired here. Oh. Um, I've I haven't had s proper sleep until yesterday. Dude, even with like eight hours of sleep, I still think I'm, I don't feel rested. <laughs> Which is like the most amount of sleep I've got for like the last couple of days. Damn, I thought I could track it. There we go. Can't you like use the claw shot to get up there without the... No, you have to use the rope. Gotcha. Come back down. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How does an old person get up here? <laughs> it sucks for them. Nah, you tie the... You tie in a four point tie. <laughs> <laughs> and you just let be rose, uh, rose, risen, risen, risen up. <gasps> Extra bad. Thank God. Ah! Uh, uh, wow, perfect. Damn, bro, that's a lot of money. Hey, that's pretty good. You have two shields and they're both metal. Yeah, brother. That's so unnecessary, though. Let's see if I can buy some other stuff, huh? Hey, at least now we can just grab some other things. Okay, yeah, I'll go to Mr. Eyebrows. Grab and... some other things? How can you grab some things when you literally have no money? Stealing, Jimmy. Ah, oh, I love this. I love stealing. <laughs> my favorite action. It's my hobby. Do. Yeah, I know. I make a living off of it. <laughs> what are you looking at, sir? Are you... He's are... looking at the same thing he looks at every day. His contemplation or existential dread? Exactly. Wow. I know, I love that stuff. Ooh, haha, <laughs> you see a Do you know what else I love? Deal. What? Crocodile. What, what's a crocodile? It's a... It's a drug that you inhale, and basically... The chemicals basically make your skin look literally like crocodile skin. Oh my god. Henceforth why it's called crocodile. So, what are the negative side effects of it? Addiction. Uh, there really isn't much about it that I know about. <laughs> All I know about is it's inhaled, like puffed, and it gives you crocodile-like skin. Because like, we didn't learn anything about crocodile in our classes. 
Because <laughs> I, I don't think we're gonna run into it often, and besides, we'll be more informed about it if we do run about into it. Yeah. If it's like an opiate overdose, I'm not sure if Crocodile is a opiate. But if it was, you just use Narcan, depending on your protocols and if you're allowed. <laughs> Man. Thick I that's like a handlebar mustache but like turned upside down. Yeah. Bro. Did did you hear what he said? I'm an old man, I've lost my vigor. <laughs> Unfortunately, the actual location of Traverse isn't limited to any of those tomes where whereabouts are lost to history, like the Library of Alexandria. But my knowledge is of little use at this subject. Nani? I'm not pretty. Uh... Oh, haha, haha, ha. Oh, okay, yeah, all right. There is one vast knowledge maybe. Ah, oh, Levias. Who is Levias? Is He's... that like the floating dragon yeah, inside the, the circle? The the giant um whale. Aren't you supposed to like chase it down or something like that? Yeah, you're supposed to get rid of the pests on it. Mm-hmm. Like Genshin, ha <laughs> ha Sponsor us, please. Why do you want to be sponsored by a company like that? I don't know, just because I- They I don't like... make skippable cutscenes, meaning they BAD COMPANY! <laughs> I like the game, and I want to get sponsored by a game I like. You know what, I can't like a game where I can't SKIP THE CUTSCENE! Raid Shadow Legends doesn't have unskippable cutscenes. Too bad Raid Shadow Legends is an app game, meaning it's not a game. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going there. I do not. I actively do not view app games as games. Yeah, I'm gamer. I swear to God. What if it's cross? Me. No, I'm not gonna say cheat on life. Uh, what like? What if um? <laughs> what if it's cross-platform like Demo? Demo is primarily an app game. I, There's no arguing so. against it. Demo is primarily just an app game. Demo two just looks dumb. Whoa, what the fuck? I can just do that? Bro, oh. what the hell? <laughs> Dude, I didn't even know. Holy shit. Yeah. Now you have 100 rupees. Time to Hi, buy um, you're in my vlog. My name is Ethan. Hi, Mark. Can I do a backflip for you? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, who's this? Hello, everybody. My. <laughs> Whoa! I was like, like, I'm a badass, I saved the kid, <laughs> and then Judy, you're like, God, I'm trying to get to my bird, please. Do they just, what if they fall asleep? Do they just fall off? Yes. The rider? No, fall off in the sky. Okay, so our next objective is just to go here. I don't, where do I learn this from? Be careful, you're flying too close to the sun. <laughs> oh, I guess she also flew too close to the tornado. <laughs> I <laughs> get fucked, Icarus loser. <laughs> no, too close to the sun, your bird's wings shall melt. I'm built different. I don't know the, what to tell you. The amount of wax I would have actually took to hold together bird feathers that tightly for you to fly. Yeah. Would be so much to the point where, like, no matter how many times you fucking flap your wings, you would just fall. So. Oh, it's a rainbow. That makes the. Oh no, that was the wrong button. That begs the question. How do I learn the spinning? What spinning? Because there's a move I learned where I can just do a full on direct attack. With the bird? Yeah, where I just do a spiral. I don't know, maybe like jab forward with the left one? Um, it's something that I have to unlock and learn, but. I don't remember where to get it, so I'm gonna have to. Wow, Fee! Yeah, what's our objective? Okay. <laughs> Does Fee just tell you where to go? Yep. Shafter all in a great deal though. Here in session. Oops. No one... Eh? Excuse me? Call her again. Okay. Um. Just so many hints. This place has no name. Oh, thank you. 
Oh my I goodness. guess I'll go fuck myself. <laughs> no, there is one place we can go for potentially just share of answers. The internet? No. You know, by the school that fucking gnome that appears out of the fucking ground? That's stone. Oh, thing. the Sheikah slate. Uh, the Sheikah stone. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, let's go there. Yeah. I'm too bothered to actually figure out what the hell is the solution. Um, okay, so. There we go. Alright, let me go back. So I do have to explore Skyloft a little bit. Sure. I also have no idea where you'd go with this. Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're not the one. It has tracking, I got it. Yeah. Damn, bro. You made one dollar. <laughs> one dollar versus a life. Um. Did you know about... Yeah, you can go into the bath and see the headmaster... Ew, yeah, that's disgusting. Why would why would you ever do that? Haha, <laughs> right? Do I've never do that? done that. No, genuinely, I've actually did not even know oh, you okay. could do that. <laughs> yeah, go there, go there. To your right, to your right. Yeah, no, too far right, to your left. Yeah, right there. Will he know? Uh, it said the Master Olwyn, so I have to find the white-haired guy. Oh, I was talking about the Sheikah Sleep. Oh, I forgot about this. Sorry. Alright, um... I find the, find the instructor first. Or the teacher, whatever you call it. <laughs> Only if. <laughs> oh, you found the proof! Oh, oh. the fuck! Did you, so you wanted me to talk to Master. Oh. That's the headmaster, Gate Pora. That you there remember is. their names is pretty impressive. Ah, oh, there you are. Look at the flora and fauna you have on you. Aha! Uh -huh. Yo. Stealing your stuff. <laughs> hey, f you know, fuck you, morals. Voices inside my head. Who needs morals when you've got money? <laughs> Levi's is the one, but that's not the Levi's we all know. That's a monster. It certainly looks like Levi's. He came and rushed at me. People change or old wise and creatures change. Rather, it's more that he's possessed by something. That's how it felt to me. Okay. What? You want to talk to Levi's? That's impossible. I don't think Levi's capable of that. It's a curse. I know. And if you read get close to him, they'll like, oh. <laughs> Damn, bro. What? If you're still planning on going? I see. It's you need to find Zelda. I understand. I already. Well. About that. <laughs> <laughs> She's already like two, three thousand years old. <laughs> she is? <laughs> no, I don't. There we go. If you could somehow free him, it has a hold on it. There we go. I'm gonna teach a very powerful. the spiral charge. Congrats, you learned the spiral charge. It's a sex maneuver where you safely choke your partner. There's also the Russian flashbang. My personal <laughs> favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. The fact that I can't mention it is the best part of it. <laughs> then there's also the Mexican lawnmower. No. <laughs> oh, the rusty trombone. Yeah, I don't know about the rusty trombone one. Um, Matthew, our friend, told us about it. I'm, I'm sure I got the details wrong, but I, it's gross. Mate, if it's from Matthew, it must be hilarious. Um, uh, it's... What was it? Sorry, just have to focus. Yeah, I know. I'll wait. Oh, you... Ah! How many do you have to get? All of them? I don't remember. Okay. Maybe? Okay, so the rusty trombone is like you you microwave your poop or something mm. and then you just use that warm poop to J well to J O. S slow down, slow down. Wait, what, what the f what? <laughs> what happened? Huh. I'm not confused about the game, I'm confused with how do you jack off this warm poop. I don't know, there's a science. It's the right... That's a lot of science and more... <laughs> just cover yourself, smear your... S smudge? Smear? Yeah, smear yourself with fucking your own feces. 
Which is very disgusting. Yeah. Yes, I'm kink shaming. And well, yeah, it's disgusting. And it's also very dangerous. How so? Just because of all the bacteria inside poop. Hey, it came out of my body. It must be decent. <laughs> <laughs> god damn it, Link. Oh my god. Oh no, Nico, watch out. 30 seconds. No, it's fine. Bruh. 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 Bro. Okay. Okay, so there's eight. Alright, give me two more. Bro. Three more. Yeah! <laughs> Damn, bro. Okay, one more, one more, one more, one more. Definitely there's two more. No, I only need to get ten. There we go. Wait, but then I asked you if you need to hit them all earlier and you said I don't know? Yeah, I didn't know. How'd and you I... come to the conclusion of ten? I forgot. If you can control your bird that well, you'll- Yeah, I did it really well. Thank you, I guess. Well, Nigo, you're a master of controlling birds. Maybe the owner of the low something. Oh, do I have to give him soup? Okay. Is that enough to quench his bloodlust? A tiny little... Vial of soup. <laughs> Pumpkin soup. Compared to a giant freaking whale. Oh, did I break a chandelier? Ah. <laughs> Oops. Alright, there's the... Oh, oops. There's a lumpy pumpkin. Okay, so... I just... What pumpkins, though? Why not always on the potato, the carrots? What pumpkin? Because pumpkins are... the... Pumpkins are the least likely to die in war. Man, only if the entirety of this game was things like Halloween every day. That would be pretty fun. That would, you know what else would be pretty funny? Jason Voorhees. What's so funny about Jason Voor? What did he do? Like, an inflated Voorhees. You're like, haha, that's a pretty funny one. That's a crime. <laughs> Me Should watching a joke that they don't partake in. Should be jailed for that. Agreed. Um, oh, here we go, Lumpy Pumpkin. Did I? I don't remember getting it. I think I did break the chandelier. Bro, how could you? Yep. How could you now they're gonna hit you? Do you know about it? You have that gullible look that says you might take an old man's family suit. Do you believe in the sky life? I haven't called it a monster demon, but no one- Yeah, I- Yeah. Damn, bro, yes. you're pretty upset and aggressive with this man, huh? Any regular person would have- Yep. Anyway, so I think I'll tell you. There's a great big tree at the cemetery. Is there a cemetery in the sky life? Yep. Damn, bro. Oh my god, that's scary. They dig a bit too much. <laughs> the body just... Whoa. The ether. Bro, grave diggers do that 24-7. They just start digging and digging and they just cut through the elbow. <laughs> Oopsie. You say a deliver a pot? Oh, I don't know how you plan to fly into that huge, thick... Honking veiny, and that's the case. I'll do everything I can. I'll get him fire up some soup. <laughs> Just drink it in front of him. I lied. <laughs> oh, drink the whole thing. All oh, right, I remember now. I will see. Oh. <laughs> oh no, it's the dumbass ball. Oh, this is another heavy load. Don't worry, I can see. I'll wait outside. I can take you somewhere you want to sit. Bruh. Bruh. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, did you not see my stand or the place where I offer soup to Levias is on the third round? Yeah, the rainbow. That's where I just was. Bruh, I love rainbows. I love double rainbows. You know what I hate though? What? Triple rainbows. Why? What do they do? Hey, they never say three heads are better than two. They only say two heads are better than one. So who needs the third one? <laughs> Is it like that, um, do you know that meme of Mrs. Puff from Spongebob just looking at the camera menacingly saying, Haha, don't ask questions you aren't prepared to get the answer to. <laughs> I, I was hoping you just said that, don't ask questions. Oh. Because that's the true answer. Don't ask questions. <laughs> 
Well, how do you feel about this color, this um, impressionist watercolor look to this game, Jimmy? Makes me tired. That's what I think. Whenever you, um, whenever you thought back to like the, like back then to like the 1700s, do you always just imagine yourself in that situation where you're just there and it's hot? You're in these all these stuffy clothes to fit the fashion. Are you just sweating all the time? No, all I imagine is committing crime left and right and getting away with it because technology was so inefficient. <clears throat> that's that's true. Or we just go back and we're like, hey people, and then we give them and diseases. They, <laughs> they give us diseases. It's like a, the trade. Yeah, the old world <laughs> the old world gets the new world diseases and the new world gets the old world diseases. <laughs> God. What was I gonna say about it? Fuck. Aria, what are you thinking about? I can't remember what the hell I was gonna say about it. These stupid tornadoes. Oh yeah. Even if I were caught and they'd be like, hold this steaming hot iron to prove your innocence because they did that. Yeah. Back in the day. And they'd judge a reaction to see. Like, if you were telling the truth and you had total faith, you'd be like, I'd be burned, but like, I won't be charged with a crime. But like, if you were a liar, you're like, you'd get away, try to get away with everything possible. So you'd be like, no way, Jose, I ain't touching that steaming hot iron. So based off your reactions and your actions, well, based off your reactions to statements by the judge, they decide if, whether or not you're lying or not. And when they like decide to like, grab onto the iron, like the person who was doing it like cool it down before giving it to the person holding it. Mm -hmm. So even though it was like red hot, they wouldn't get severe burns, and they won't get burned, uh, proving them to be uh, innocent instead of guilty. Because the idea was, if you're holding a red hot iron and if you get burned, you're guilty, mm -hmm. which is pretty dumb. Yeah. But like back in the day, they used to clean their bed sheets with piss because they they thought it cleaned well as well as a. Uh, <laughs> Oh, they throw witches into the water. Anyone who floated was a witch, and anyone who drowned was not a witch. Because water was associated with, like, godliness or something like mm -hmm. that. And so if the water accepts you, then God accepts you. Didn't, um... They didn't have toilets, so they just get the shit buckets, and then they just, um... Throw it outside, on the front, outside the window. And sometimes some poor passerby would just get caught under it and get hit. Not even that, but like, if you're like rich and you have to own your own house and you have like servants, like some rich people would just shit on the fucking hallway and just like move on. Oh, gross. I know, man. You know what isn't gross? What? Those eyeballs before they were absolutely destroyed. It's true. Where did he go? Oh. Um. Whoa. What was I gonna say? I forgot. Man. I keep forgetting because I'm just trying to so hard to focus on us. Yeah, I understand what you mean. I'm trying to not fall asleep. Oh, got a break. I have no idea why I'm so tired today. Even though I got so much sleep. <sighs> now I gotta jump on this mf -er. Man, I also really like collecting small bits of information here and there. Cause like a uh, a while back, I got a 911 call to a patient, and uh, I forget what religion it was, probably some type of religion where they have like a hand with an eye in front of it, eye on it, and they usually hang it by the door. And the idea is that this symbol will catch the evil spirits as you enter the house, mm -hmm. so you leave it at the door, and now that enters your safe place. And so I'm, I'm like entering the house, and I see this, I'm like. Huh. Pretty interesting stuff to know about. So I was like, pretty happy that I know about this information. But it doesn't really serve too much information, like too much purpose. It's still interesting to know about. Bra oh, okay, I get it. No, god damn it. There, there we go. Playing tennis? Oh, the sword? Ha, <laughs> a hega face. <laughs> Damn, bro, you, you call that a hega face? Yeah. 
That's pretty painful. Okay, now I remember how to fight this thing. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> Are you supposed to head towards the ears? Yeah. Damn. It's always. Bruh. The big Angies. Anyway. Oh shit, he's gonna fall. <laughs> was it this game where you're like, I can reduce the cooldown time by doing certain moves in a certain sequence? Mm -hmm. Oh no, that was Wind Waker. Gotcha. I wonder if people, they're probably, ah shit, they probably figured it out as a speedrun strat, but hey, that video got 300, ah shit, 300,000 views. The one that you made? No, not 300,000, just 300. The, um, I made a game... Remember the Game Grumps compilation I told you about? Yeah. Um, it got like 128,000 views. Holy shit. But, bro. um, that's not my content. <laughs> so, I, if I make another video, a lot of people will probably leave. And, I, son of a bitch! And a problem, people will just probably be like, oh, who's this guy? Noah, deserters are deserters. <laughs> 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 What's the point in screaming if we're all gonna die? Scary. Deserves is a harsh word to use. Yeah, unless it's ice cream. It's just... Then, well. That's dessert. Yeah. But if it's a dry savannah, desert. Is savannah a desert? I don't know. For some reason, my brain is associating the word savannah with desert. God, thank God. But do you remember like I don't know, like two, three years ago when we went to that sauna? Oh yeah, that was fun. That was yeah. that was was that last year? Was that I don't recall how long ago it was. It might have been last Hmm. Was it last year? I think it was last year. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I you got me we played Monster Hunter. <laughs> and you're like, I'll never get Monster Hunter sucker. <laughs> and you're like, hey, well, it was originally like, hey, Nico, this is when you go monster hunter, you should get it. You're like, not until I get a job. <laughs> and eventually you did get a job. I'm like, so, Nico, about that promise. <laughs> it's $20, okay. And then I got Monster Hunter World, and then I had to stop playing because it would overheat my computer. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't play Monster Hunter World anymore. Every single time I play it, I just fall asleep. <laughs> I don't know how, for such like an action-packed game, how to fall asleep. Like I you, don't you're sleep. fighting the pickle and it's just jumping everywhere. Like, uh. Bro, you kidding me? I genuinely fell asleep fighting the pickle in Monster Hunter uh, Generations Ultimate. I really wish there was... I mean, it's so iconic. I, you'd think there would be a plush of it. Like an official plush. That's true. How come there isn't? Uh, yeah, how come there isn't one of the pickle? I forgot its real name. <laughs> This song is the key to it. There's a video. Of, there's a video of a um, of people kayaking, and then a blue whale comes and just just eats the two kayakers. It eats one of them, and then just comes back down. Doesn't let them go. They said later they let them go. Damn, bro. I don't remember what. What did you? Say? What did this guy say? I think I'm supposed to go to the... I'm supposed to go to the dragons now. Bro, just go into that hole. Go into that hole and you'll be in, uh, what was it? Abba Abba's lair? <laughs> Whatever the fish Jabu was. Jabu Jabu. <laughs> yeah, Jabu Jabu's lair. <laughs> the graphics go down in this quality. <laughs> but Link still remains high definition. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Look how clear this is. This is just like when you're. Do you know that feeling where you're visiting a relative's house and you're just having a fun time, hang out mm -hmm. with them? I do, and then your eyes burn out from how bright they smile. And you're like, holy goddamn shit, how bright is your damn teeth? What the fuck? <laughs> you replace your gums with what LED light bulbs just to blind me by looking at you <laughs> smile? Um, I was just gonna say that you're hanging out with your relatives and you're having a fun time and it's 10 a.m. and you're kind of exhausted, but you know, it's like a fulfilling exhaustion. And then your uncle holds you under the armpit and puts you over the ledge out of the apartment building, uh, ledge. 
Oh, balcony. Was, was that like... when you fell? Nah, nah, nah. When I fell, I was being a dumbass kid. But that time with my uncle, I don't even remember, but I'm being told stories of it. Where he'd just pick you up on an armpit, put you over the balcony, and be like, Whoa, look how tall you are! Oh. Look how high you are! Shit like that. Ooh. <laughs> but the time I fell was uh, me just being a dumbass second story building house where we lived. My parents were sleeping at the time. My sister was taking care of me. She's like, do this, do that. Like, get off from that dangerous place. And I was like, nah! <laughs> like the dumbass kid I am. <laughs> and eventually she's like, you know, fuck you. Like, she didn't really say fuck you, but like, I'm abbreviating a lot of the story. She's okay. like, fuck you. And I was like, no, go away. I'm gonna do what I want. I used I loved hanging on areas, like just hanging upside down and just doing shit like that. Mm -hmm. So like, I just hang on to like the bar that holds the curtains, so, like that wooden bar over there, something like that. Mm -hmm. I hang on to that and just like go upside down. And I was like swinging back and forth. They're like different versions. I honestly don't know what the fuck happened. Like the core idea is like I was by the window, I was dicking around, and I fell. Mm -hmm. And then my parents were sleeping. That's a like consistency. I felt it was a consistency. My older sister turning around and then turning back after hearing like a thud or like some type of clunk. When there's three butterflies, can't you take out the harp and use it? Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Sorry, I was just, <laughs> I was just thinking about what the hell was going. On. I think I have to fight demise again. Uh, ew. It demise bad. It's it's symbolism that the seal is starting to break. Yeah, well then go back into the past, grab past Zelda, and bring her to the present, and be like, present now present Zelda, the, your seal broke, be better. <laughs> Why? <Fine. laughs> do good. Okay. But the song of the hero. So, I couldn't land anywhere. And if I go out here, is it just gonna, are you gonna earthquake? So Nico, I have a question. Did you ever tutor someone? Like, did you ever do tutoring? I tried it once. Once? Well, yeah. Been... I didn't do a good job. Did yeah. you ever do Kumon? I did. Oh yeah, yeah. I did. I did work at Kumon. I guess that is that counts as tutoring. If if you work at Kumon, you're gonna get sick a lot. Why is that? It's the kids. Why, they're, they're just dumbass kids that just spread disease easily? I mean, they're, yeah, they're kids, so when you're grading your homework, they'll have, like, that mystery stain on them. Yeah. Then you just pull on a pair of gloves, and if the teachers are like, what the hell are you doing? Just take your finger and, like, just scratch your arm, and then make it go red and be like, I have sensitive skin. <laughs> With but a you, knife. You just scratch your skin, like, really hard. Whereas, like, hey, even though I can create it, like, right here. Yeah. Like, look. Do you see that crease? Yeah. Like, I, it was just fingernail in. Oh, okay. And after a moment or two, it just becomes red. Oh, is that episode two uh, over? That's episode, yes. Damn! Bah! Next time. Next time, I'll be sleeping all the way through. Uh-huh. <laughs>